morning grade three a warm welcome to today's english lesson as you know that we've been reading lesson 12 spare selection goodness grows in gardens today's learning objective is going to be editing and revising that is proofreading a written paragraph and then you're going to write your own compare and contrast paragraph and please do not forget to pause and replay this video for better understanding get started we're going to read Ben's draft and then we're going to think of ways to make his sentences better so I want you to take some time pause this video and read Ben's a draft great so I'm assuming that you read it now let's read it together in some ways they are very different all right that's the opening sentence I don't know really what is he talking about here like what is same and what's different Let's read this next sentence. It's not just that corn is yellow and carrots are orange. Corn grows above the ground, but carrots grow underground. Also, you have to cook corn, but you can eat carrots cooked or raw. Let's look at the next few lines. Yet in other ways, two foods are alike. My family grows both in our garden vegetable. Both are good for you. Finally, both taste great. And up above here, he's written, my dad says corn and carrots have a lot of nutrient. Raw carrots have a crunch that makes them fun to eat. And the thought of eating sweet corn makes my mouth water. I like how he has closed the paragraph. However, there's a lot of improvement that can take place. So what do you think we can do to improve men's draft? And this is me giving you in my suggestion. So the first thing I've done here is that I've mentioned the name of the vegetables he's comparing and contrasting. So you can see that I've added the sentence. Two of my favorite foods are corn and carrot. It's a good way to start. Remember, your opening sentence is very important because it tells the reader what exactly are you writing about. Then the rest of the things are fine. Down here below again, what I've done is that I've rearranged some words and made a better sentence and written nutrients help your body grow and stay healthy. So I've added some details to the finally. Both taste great. So add some details to make your writing better. Now, so what are we going to do today? Well, we are going to do the following. We're going to write a compare and contrast paragraph. All right, and I'm going to save this projectable handout in Schoolvic for you to fill in. And let's read the instructions. Write a compare and contrast paragraph about two plants or two animals. And I chose animals, right? I chose a coyote and a spider. Now let me show you what will I do in order to write about these two animals. First of all, I did some research work. So I went to Google. And I researched about coyote and spider. That's my research for coyotes. And then I opened up uh, some websites and chose the sentences I needed. I read about the animal. Next, I researched about spiders and I chose some information that was relevant. And then I started writing. Now, let's have a closer look of this handout. What exactly did I do? Well, um, I, first of all, read about the two animals. Then in my head, I made pointers, the differences, the similarities, and then I started writing. So I began with the topic sentence. And I remember your topic sentence should clearly state the topic. So let's start reading. Spider and Coyote appear as main characters in folk tales. Right? That's my opening sentence. So here I tell the reader while well, I'm writing about a spider and a coyote, that too in folk tales. Then I wrote, in folk tales, both animals are usually portrayed as tricksters. They play tricks on other animals. But these animals are very different in real life. This is the sentence that clearly states the topic, but I'm going to begin comparing and contrasting these two animals. Right? And you can see the uh, arrow right there 
then I am going to add details, right? And make comparisons and contrasts so that my topic stands out and my writing gets stronger. So let's read. In folk tales and in real life, spiders and coyotes look very different. Now I'm, a, I'm about to state the differences in their appearance, right? For example, spiders have eight legs and eight eyes and coyotes have four legs and two eyes. So I am adding details so that I can compare the two animals. Next, you can check out the linking words that are connecting my ideas. Both animals, however, do capture prey or smaller animals that they eat. This sentence here explains the meaning of a word, as you can see, capturing prey or basically taking and eating smaller animals. So this is where I'm explaining what I mean. Then I added more details. Spiders spin webs to catch the food, such as insects. Coyotes can drop long distances, distances hunting for prey, such as small mammals or birds. And then I'm going to conclude to sum up the information. To be honest, I prefer the spiders and coyotes in folk tales to the ones in real life. So that's a nice way to end up my paragraph. Now, when you're going to write, you have to make sure that you're opening your paragraph by displaying enough amount of details for the reader to understand what exactly are you about to compare and contrast. Then don't forget to add details, the linking words that are going to connect your ideas. And if you're using some good vocabulary, make sure that you explain the meaning of a word in that sentence. And last but not the least, the concluding statement that sums up the information, right? Perfect. Now, I'm going to add this handout into your schoolwork and you can either use the same animals but you're going to construct your paragraph yourself so no copy pasting or you can choose different animals and for that what i'm going to do is that i'm going to post this website uh, in today's post so that you can research about numerous animals and then choose two and compare and contrast them okay great best of luck grade three